A really useful command on a Linux system is the uptime command. What does uptime do? Well, it tells you how long your system has been running since the last boot. So if I switch over to the terminal and I run uptime without any flags or options, this gives you the full output of uptime. It gives you the current time. So this is just the clock time right now. It is 848 a.m. in the morning as I'm recording this video. Then it gives the uptime. You see up and you can see I, this system has been up eight days, one hour, 24 minutes since the last time I did a reboot. It also shows the number of users currently logged in right now, just the one user, my user, the DT user, and then it gives you the load average information. Now uptime does have a couple of flags and options. So if you want to pick out certain pieces of this information, you can do that. You can do uptime dash P for pretty format. And that just gives you the uptime. And you can see it actually does format it in a nice pretty way. And instead of, you know, eight days and then one colon 24, you get up one week, one day, one hour, 25 minutes. You can do uptime dash S, and this is the since flag. So it prints the system up since the time, the well, last time you booted up. So uh, this is your uptime, except it is not very pretty, right? This is, this is the opposite of the pretty format. And one truly hideous flag is uptime dash R for the raw format. And this gives you all of the information from the standard uptime itself. It converts everything into seconds. So anything that was time related, for example, my current clock time, it's just the current seconds, right? And then the uptime is also displayed in seconds. Then you do get the one user and then you get the load average information, just the numbers without, you know, the load average colon and the commas separating them. Another flag that might be useful in certain circumstances is uptime dash C for container. And this prints the containers uptime rather than the systems uptime. Now, if you want to learn more about uptime, type man uptime in the terminal to read the man page.